I forgot to hit record. Meh. But yes, hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventures with uh, Digimon. After I had a break for a day because bippity ba, and then this morning I got sick. Don't you just love when life is nice to you? Yeah, just figured, eh, screw it, let's have some fun. Do a quick-ish stream of Digimon. To at least not completely fall away. This feels familiar. Now it says next go to Kowloon, I'm sure it would say, oh, dippity da, you did it. Alright, first thing first, we're gonna go this way. Make sure the hacker isn't in the back rooms to be hunted. Because we cannot trust these tricksy hackers. I just hope that they aren't in weird places like, haha, you didn't go all the way up so you can see them. Ooh. But no, we are going to look for them. Look for them on the lower part of this here left zone. Down here because they might be down here. Oh, hey, we can make a Toy Agumon if we want to. Well, Lightning Paw it is. Lol. Praise be to Lightning Paw, it can just annihilate everything. Let's see what Holy Light does to you. It kills. You ever died by the word of God? Oh yeah, I forgot we have uh, Togemon now. Yeah, because I forget the exact reason why I skipped last stream day. It just felt kind of... I, I forget the exact reason. Time flies by very fast. And I just decided, eh, screw it. I'm not gonna... I was gonna say, was that a critical miss? No, it's just, I forgot. For some reason, crit appears before the damage. Even slightly happens, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Let's quickly go over, let's see. You have 850. Let's swap Togemon in. We don't need two vaccines, but at the same time, Togemon is a... Mm, I'm sure Togemon can survive. I'm sure Togemon can survive. But it looks like we're going to the back back rooms. Unless I missed the hacker. The other way. Yeah, today has been a wonky day. Shoulder decided it wanted to feel like death. Stomach and throat weren't all that nice. It was just a very weird day. <coughs> we have a lot of Digimon to make real. Kill. Bye bye, Patamon. You're dead today. Only like the small child. Alright, Togemon, let's see what you can do. You have Needle Spray. 40 plant damage to all foes. 5% chance to paralyze target. Let's just do a normal Crescent Leaf and see how well that goes. Oh boy, that was critical damage, was it? Fear! Fear indeed. Let me jump down here. Because we're here to beat up a hacker. It's the hacker from the blacklist. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You just bumped into me on purpose, didn't you? I think you broke something. You're paying for treatment. So he he's a insurance fraudster. Huh, you didn't even go after my base, did you, Mom? Now that's just not base at all. Kill that one. Ah, uh, but this means that you'll die a horrible, painful death. Good. Three times damage, and it was only 400. 
which I guess makes sense. The Nightmare 2 only did uh, 100, 150-ish, so makes sense. God, that really hurts. This time I'm serious. I think I'm going to go to the hospital. You're a digital... You, uh, your body is a digital construct. While, yes, you feel pain, presumably, but nothing's actually broken. Or are you going to go to Eden Hospital? Don't worry, I'll pay for it myself. We're good now. You beat up somebody hard enough, they repent. The true way Jesus intended. Quick look, and then quick run. I think I ran the wrong way. Oh no, here's the exit. I forgot we were in the upstairs area. Me fool. Togemon looks so weird. It's like being chased after by the, uh... Bibbidi Bop, and then... I forget what we're doing story-wise. Like, story, story-wise. I guess we could always talk to you. No, we can't. You, you only want to talk to me in the agency. Then I guess we shall log out, talk to our manager. Because I literally do just forget. It's probably Kowloon again, but let's turn this in, because why not? Intelligence boost. But where do I need to go? Points to Kowloon level 4. Okay. That's what I thought, but I would rather come here, get a bippity ba confirmation before running off. Alrighty, we shall save here and go forth now that we defeated the hacker in Kowloon level 3. Oh yeah. Because we came, oh yeah, because it was weird and we came here and uh, like fought someone for a rare medal. I, did we get that back? I forget. Did we talk to you? Ever since my mom got into Jimmykin, thinks, oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that's what we're here for. To beat up Jimmykin. The rotten bastard boy. Let's see. You, because you're ugly. How dare you survive. Hmm. I keep forgetting that you're my healer. Wish that I had a damage to all. But let's just, uh, holy light you, get you out of here. Goodbye, Pooh Man. Attack break. How dare you break my Godomon's attack! Punch him! We're not gonna punch him in the face, we're gonna play it safe to make sure we do add for damage. You're gonna live, aren't you? Okay, good. Togemon is quite weak. Luckily, Togemon is leveling up at a good clip. Oh boy, we can make Poomon if we want to. Still wish. You obviously have the technology to have NPCs ride along elevators. Why not do it with my Digimon? Yeah, Secret Path, Bibbidi Ba. Yeah, because we're here to find Sakura. <coughs> One of these days, we're just gonna fight a trail of, like, uh, tamer battles. Weird that there's nothing up there. Oh boy, this bunch again. Nightmare that one. See if you can kill it. Ah! How rude. It has one health. How rude! It has too much health. Its attack is literally poop. You all die now. Needle spray. Why do you get two turns? Why you per two turn in son of a beach? 
son of a frog with a trumpet up his ass. Ooh, anti-paralysis. That reminds me. I think some Digimon actually like... Hmm, Gale's form. Yep, you have extra moves. Gale Force, physical attack. Hmm, since we have... But at the same time, we won't always have that. Let's see, anything in here? Nope. Oh yeah, I forgot, Revive. Restores a little bit of HP. Uh, since you're basically a mage, I'm going to put Revive there. I knew that one of my Digimon had something. Hmm. Mock Rush 1 can be replaced with Holy Light 2. If we ever use you. Let's see. No skills for you. Hex Heal! Restores some HP for one battle Digimon. Interesting. Alright, but there's nothing up in the left. We haven't heard much from Saxon lately. Maybe a whole new team like Jude's is gonna sprout up. Oh yeah, we already talked to you. Most of the hacking incidents in town have been a product of that new X Zexon team, Demons they're called. Oh yeah, because that's where the Diddly D was. The stolen metal was in the left. And then we got summoned back. That's what happened. My memory is slightly less faily. <sighs> Feels like we're pretty far inside. Every time I come to Kowloon, I get the creeps. Relax, Nokia. We'll protect you. We can stay with you here in cyberspace. What she said. What would I do without you two? I'm the one doing the fighting. Hey, hey, Nokia, look at that! Rude. Ow! Sakura, I... He's dead. Ryota is dead! Hang on, hang on, hang on, stop! What are you guys doing? What's that shiny thing? No way, torture in this day and age? What's it to you? You know him? How barbaric. It's, it's unforgivable! Unforgivable, really? So what if it is? You gonna do something about it? Yes, yes we are, right, Neon? That's my favorite cyber soup. Okay, let's do this! What? You're not doing anything, Nokia. That's right, I'm not doing anything. That's right, it's dangerous. Don't do anything. You need to be somewhere safe. Just watch your friend does the fighting. <laughs> uh, is that what a real friend is? Is that uh, what friends do? They are annihilating Nokia with their innocence. Now I feel like the worst. Whoa, 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 hold up! You think you can just ignore us? Are you kidding with this crap? Well, I will mess you up! No, that's my job. Oh, yeah, I forgot. These guys are scary now. Who's most scary? I'm gonna say you. And then... Only like two on you. Annihilate. Shock. And how dare you stun the boy? Ah, well, let's just do it. Oh, hey, damage up, and it's a triple. Still didn't kill. Hilarious. And uh, just punch him. Punch him with the knuckle of God. Okay, that was very weak. <laughs> oh, I won't forget this! Don't let him get away. He knows where Sakura is. I'm on it. Agumon, Gabumon. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Understood. Hand it over. <laughs> Hand it over now! Oh, that? Okay, okay. I sent the data. <laughs> I did it. Now what? Do you let yourself fall victim to the Digimon capture scam to find out where Sakura is? <laughs> I've beaten them at their own game. 
Yeah, but what the heck was the data you wanted so badly? Here, Neon, take this. URL? That's where the demon's hideout is. Sakura's gotta be there. Ow! Ryota! It's a choice, that isn't a choice! <laughs> Guess I overdid it a little. This account is falling apart. Don't forget about me. Hurry up and find Sakura! <laughs> so he digi-dies. I'm leaving the rest up to you. So is he gonna fall victim to Eden Syndrome now? Because, uh, uh... The music is not showcasing much, like... <laughs> seriousness. Hey, Nokia, why are those guys so worked up? Good question. Because they're going through adolescence. Adolescence? You know, you. You, is that any different from junior high school disease you talked about before? Um, well, they're similar, but... Junior high school disease is when you become a youth after you somehow manage to DNA digivolve. Hmm, I don't really get it, but humans are fascinating. Uh, right, I guess. Let's go to the demon's den. Pop quiz! How many Digimon can you keep on a single farm island? Ten. Fainted with a satisfied grin. Ah, uh, he's not dead. Good, I guess, but... Really does downplay the seriousness, because he said his account is falling apart. Which I guess could still mean he succumbs to Eden Syndrome a bit, if that's even possible. For, like, non-eaters to induce Eden Syndrome. But it is kind of a terrifying idea of ripping apart a digital account that you are inhabiting. Let's see if we can get the numbers to kill you! Yay, you are dead. Not big surprise. Now you will die, little toad man. Little toad boy. Kuza. Wind... Windgomon. Oh no, terrifying. Farm 2 developed command de completed successfully de uh, defense attachment C. Not bad. How'd you get by and not suffer? I hear tell people are selling imitation Digimon captures all over town. People are paying tons of cash and trading away rare items for them. Meanwhile, I just got mine from a rander er, random hacker. Alright, that guy has a diddly dang flame drumon pointed at me. Is that a flame drumon in your pants or are you just happy to see me? You want a battle? You think you got a chance? You can see the flame drumon behind me, right? Or are you looking over here because you want to fight? Let's fight. So this is an optional fight. Ah, he's a neutral type. I should have done Lightning Paw. Lightning Paw away! He'll probably have yeah, the annoying thing like, hey, I'm actually immune. Should probably swap out. Nightmare 2. See how much damage it does. Again, actually pay attention. Slightly better than Lightning Paw. Heal all of us. Togemon is weak, so we're going to swap Togemon out for Sorceramon. Even if Sorceramon isn't going to get a turn for a billion years. You just keep slapping the kitty cats. Very rude. Hmm. Let's try the rock. Eh. Holy light! Oh boy! You have failed. Not big surprise. Get hydroed! 
Let's see if Lightning Paw can do anything. Kind of annoyed that these. Ooh, I'm a higher level. I'm a high level Digimon. I'm just not going to be affected by status effects. Time for a drop kick. I'll just hydro water you once. Die. Get out of here. Digi Egg of Courage? So if I get a Vmon, I can then give it the Digi Egg of Courage to become a Flame Dramon. Uh, I'm sorry I acted so big. I'm the one who didn't really see your Digimon strength. F forgive me. And I just freaking stole. And I got a memory up! Like, even though I'm not at my max, it's just nice to be able to go boom. And now we need to get out of here. Oh. She disappeared too that time. Oh. Yeah. Now we just need to get out of here. A Gilmon? Huh? Or have we run into a Gilmon just out and about? I think we might have. It's just for some reason it slips my mind and seeing an enemy Gilmon amuses me. A frickin' critical three times. Sure. Just spit on the grave of the poor boy. I guess that's my trivia coming in. Wow, you got it. The answer is Tim. Oh, we haven't talked to you. Walking around Kowloon earlier, I saw some dudes selling discount Digimon captures. I know they're knockoffs, but I mean, as long as they kind of work, right? So I went to go buy one, but the guy kept giving me this weird look. He thought I was just some random person off the street. When I finally told him I was a hacker, he actually laughed at me. He said he wouldn't sell me because I don't act like a hacker. Weird. Right as I click, hey, elevator. Game said, screw you. No elevator for you. Kill the poo. The poo is dead. Holy light, the toad man. I got a pearl. A pretty pearl. How much... I guess we can j check how much, like, digi space in my main lineup I have when we get to the entrance of Kowloon. Also, I just realized something kind of funny. In that, we went to the Zaxxon Forum, and nothing really came of it. We got the Zaxxon Hacker Mask, which is apparently an optional item because we just kept running into people, and they're like... Like, er, you aren't supposed to be here. And then, bippity boppity, they like. I could show them the Zaxxon mask, and they let me buy, but presumably there's a way to just go, like, screw you, let me through, and beat him up, probably. But yeah, we have a lot of Digimon to become real. In the Digilab. Digilab fabrication. Alrighty. Well, I guess while uh, we're on our way out, let's take a look at the Digi Egg of Courage. I'm sure it's an equipment. Not equipment? Key item? Then it's a digi egg. Yep, a digi egg with a engrave with a courageous crest. So yeah, we just need to. I guess once X Vmon is fully leveled, or so, we'll D. Well, we'll first we'll see what Digimon are available to X Vmon. And then, we will decide if we want to de-digivolve him to Vmon to then hold the Courageous Egg and then digivolve, or if there is a 
Digimon that XVmon can digivolve into while holding the courageous egg. And then I presume that we can then take the courageous egg. Well, I don't think there are any Digimon that need Digivolutions. I think we still have one to do, but we can throw Bibbidi Bop around. Oh, wait, we were also gonna check there. I forget, I think it was you that we wanted to feed up on Digimeat. I completely forget. Okie doke. Wait, farm expansion? We can farm expand, or should I farm expand my main island? Can we even? We can. Let's do it. One star rating. That's the achievement I got for apparently maxing this place out. And I'm not even using all of the places. Silly me. Oh yeah, and I forgot that. We're gonna come here, we're going to command them to develop. Screw it. Take all my money. I'm hardly using it. Let's see. Still just checking out. That's kind of interesting. Black Gautamon is 45, while Gautamon is 51. Sorcerer Mon's 45, XV Mon's a decent way away. Let's see. Is there... CAM 100% Stingmon is your friend. What? Weird. But we can de digivolve him into a Vmon because we've ran into Vmon. But I know that there was like a... One Digimon that was like, oh, no, you can't, you must do pretty far. Oh, Togemon can, ev oh, of course Togemon can evolve into Lilymon. It's just that none of the diddly D stats are up there just yet. Let's see. Is there anyone who is ready to evolve? Also, I might have just missed. And while we're here, let's see. He only has one route. That's interesting. We kind of know most of yours. And I'm guessing that's normal wizard mon or a different hatted mon. Still, why can you become punk, blue monster? Human spirit of light held. Interesting. And he too can become XV mon. Oh, yeah, I think. What was it? I forget. I do not know. He can't evolve into anybody, because he's a failure at life. Ooh, Gabumon's about to uh, evolve. Yeah, Human Spirit of Light. So you too can evolve into that same one. Very interesting. I'm just like looking at all the little ladies. Just make weird hackers. Oh, that's a special Digimon that can only be had through hacker's memory from Ice Devamon. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, is that DNA Digivolution? Sam, 100%. Oh, that's what it means. This Digimon and another Digimon need to have 100% CAM to do that. Gotcha. God, look at all of them. I guess since we haven't done you before, you can come exist. I hate you, but you too can exist. I guess. Sure, why not? You can exist. I'm never going to digivolve somebody into you. And the rest are kind of like, I'll hold off. Actually. Digibank. 
he can digivolve into do Digimon that I do not know. He can become either uh, the higher level Starmon, Etamon, or a horrible alien abomination looking being. Hmm, Greymon. Interesting that you can, like, have a better time. And it looks like the two different Bippity Bobs, the two robot dudes. My YouTube horrible abominations can... Well, yeah, two horrible abominations and one toy Agumon can all go to the farm island. We sent them off to the farm. Yeah, the system is interesting. I probably should have saved, which you know what, we're we're gonna go back, save, then head to the demon game. And we're gonna keep my team probably what it is because the game's gonna stereotype villains and give them a bunch of viruses. I just know. To the demon then. Why do they have a logo? Because this bastard. This is the amount of people that you got to come here for just wigged out teenagers. Yeah, see, the songs themselves aren't so bad. What the, what's wrong with me? Whoa, I might have just taken a trip on the dark side. It's all right to like his music. What's that? You know where Sakura is? Okay, I'm coming. She's out on the dance floor. Sakura, we're here to save you. Hey, hey, hey. Who are you? What do you want? Butting in on my evil pilgrimage? That takes some guts. You could even say it wrong. Ah, it's you, the girl from earlier. The one who was harping all over me because of Digimon. You right, little harpy. A right, little what now? Do you understand what this guy is? <laughs> Do you understand the Sky Neon harping harpy? <gasps> Wait, was that the whole joke? Bad pun alert! Super bad pun alert! But what's that? Is that a TV camera? Wait, are we... We're smack dab in the middle of an airwave jacking! Wait a minute, does this mean my face is now living rooms across the nation? I'm not ready, a mysterious beauty needs time if she isn't talked about the next day! You fool lols, the camera only faces me! My incredible talent alone is what shines through. But this music video was playing all over town. I'm talking live. It don't mean nothing unless it's live, lols. These wicked fans of mine, possessed by the power of the video, have come here to listen. And now a great crowd of my wicked fans will come to listen to me rock out. So he's just a super narcissist. What are you talking about? The kids who you are here are here because of the salmonella messages in your music video. What? The mess- the what messages? Wait, you mean the subliminal messages? Ruffle! Uh, yeah, right, that's it. Oh, come on, come on, smash that camera! Ah! No freaking way! Why are you smashing my camera? We got that thing special from You Know Who! It's a very special, sweet memory! You know who said my songs needed to be heard by more and more people. You know who said I needed to become way more popular. You really shouldn't be broadcasting your washed up glam rocker face into living rooms anymore. OMG! Who are you calling washed up? When I get it, you're totally ripping off that one band. They were American, I think. Or maybe British. It was something like kicks or lips or whatever. I ain't ripping off nobody know how. I will not. No, I cannot let that slide. This time, there will be absolutely no mercy. Agumon and Gabumon, are you ready? This time, we're going to save a friend. What? Er, but earlier you said, now's my chance. Okay, what abomination. Oh, no. That doesn't look good at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Annihilate the little buddies! Annihilate them now! Oh, fuck. Ora. Ora, 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 ora! 
Oh, that's not good at all. Comet Hammer 3. Oh, we have guest party members. That'll help. Hmm. We don't have much use for you, Sorcerer Amon. Bring out the viruses. <laughs> Hilarious that they're using base types for this. Nano Machine Break 3. Luckily, it's on the Immortal Partner Pokemon. Digimon. My bad. Hmm. Eh, then just use Lightning Paw on him. Damn you, resist. Hmm, on A. Annihilate him before he can do anything. And now, how about your friend? That was a three times multiplier. Blue Blaster! Oh no. That's not good. Luckily, he didn't do it on the big guy, at least. Well, I was going to do this anyway. We'll just have to make sure to revive Gautamon before battle ends so that we can, like, make sure that she gets experience. And nothing more to say. These guys ever so slightly scare me. Super combo! Kill the little friend! Probably should have done that on the big guy. Exhaust flame! Freeze fang! Ah, oh, that's not nice at all. He's gonna be doing major damage. But luckily, he wasted his turn. I just noticed that Gabumon Nagumon being here is kind of superfluous, all things considered. Nightmare his face off. Work in me, Palm 2! I kind of hate to use it, but she's not in danger. Oh, Jesus! Let's see. Grand Rock. Let's see how it rocks. Okay, uh, I guess. Nightmare 2! Interesting team up. Oh, that killed! Yay! Perfect timing for revive. Uh, memory up DX. Alrighty. Excellent! This is what real friends are like, Nokia. Dang it! Why does it have to end like this for me? I just wanted to bring my simple, pure rock and roll to as big an audience as possible! With brainwashing? And I finally got help from you know who! I don't know how I'm going to tell! You keep saying you know who. Who the heck are you talking about? You know who is you know who, da little Miss Ray! M Miss Ray? You know her, Neon? Yep, the sexual assaulter. That's enough. <gasps> oh, it's you guys! Jimmy, look at you. You're pathetic. I was against using phonies like you from the very start. Ha! Oh! Ding! What he said? Did you just frickin' karate chop his soul out of him? You're what we'd call a filthy pig down at the farm. 
Hey, you, what are you doing? I was the one who was going to bombard him with questions. You stay out of this, you frumpy little haglet. What? Frumpy me? You, you jerk face, I'm so not frumpy. You're the frumpy one calling me frumpy. So there, and what do you mean by stay out? How are you involved with all this? Not only are you frumpy, you're too nosy for your own good. Shut your full mouth before I shut it for y'all. Oh, we're actually fighting her. I'm fighting her as Nokia. Well, that's mean. It's not even a proper type advantage either. Well, that was good. Pepper bread. Yeah, so this is an impossible battle. Anti-Panic Gagumon, make him alive! Why am I not stepping in? Pepper Bread! She's too strong. I'm no match for her. Agumon, Gabumon, I'm sorry. Faye, hey, give it a rest for now. Eh, as if. If this is the best she can do, I can whoop her. I said knock it off. Or do you mean to defy me as well? Gosh, I never. I couldn't possibly. I would never betray you. Shut. Don't even say it. This incident was an oversight on my part. I apologize. He just wanted to attract greater crowds, which is why he hijacked the airwaves. Someone at Kamishiro prompted it, though. Kamishiro? Th that means... That Jimikin is nothing more than a Kamishiro pawn. Undoubtedly, it was Rei Kishibi... Kishiba? Who put the idea in his head and the hijacking program in his hands. Then if Jimikin testifies to that fact, it's no good. Everything he's done has been of his own free will. He has been as skillfully manipulated as the girls he controls with his foot post-hypnotic suggestions. The T next to the H and the Y kind of threw me off there for a moment. But Yugo, how come you know about this? Didn't I tell you, you frumpy little thing? Stay out of this. I'll send coordinates for the location where girls are gathering in the real world to your terminal. Sorry to make you clean up this mess, but thank you. Let's go, Faye. Hang on just one gosh darn minute. You're lucky I have a thing for weak and frumpy things. It kind of makes me want to punch a wall, though. Next time I won't go so easy on y'all. What's up with her? We've got Yugo and Kamishiro and this and that, and it's all just stupid, so complicated. Don't, that's right, we came to save everyone who was on Jimikin's evil pilgrimage. Sakura, all you girls are suffering from Pomeranian effect. Are you okay? First of all, let's head back to the agency. I'm gonna have to head back there to grab the diddly dee. To grab a thing. He's alive! I see. Then you were able to safely rescue all those who had been subliminally brainwashed. Yeah, but they're all in the hospital now. Nothing to worry about. There are specialists who can break post hypnotic suggestions. More importantly, how are you doing? I heard the hackers did some nasty things to you. I'm perfectly fine. I just want to. I'm gonna look, go look in on Sakura. I'm still really worried about her. Ah, the passion of you. Well then, mind if I ask about the highlights of the case? Hmm. If we were to summarize the police report, it would probably read like this. The demons and Kamishiro conspired together. But assuming Kamishiro is behind this string of cases, just what exactly are they after? Uh, world domination. We're missing something, but what? Or will that something make itself known? Is trying to jump to a conclusion with what little info we have now too vigorous? Let's proceed on the possibility that we're either missing something or that something will turn up. Thanks for all your effort again. You have my thanks as well, Nokia Shiramine. Oh, uh, well, thanks. Um, Neon, do you have a second? I want to talk to you outside real quick. 
you want to become a cyber sleuth? Work alongside Gabumon and Agumon? She wants to talk outside, huh? Maybe this is also the passion of youth at work. Enough of that. Any progress on the Kamishiro and Nile Corporation case, old man? Uh, don't rush me. I'm in the process of clearing some key obstacles. It's like I always said. Haste makes place, right? What it be, Nokia? Phone lady. Um, Neon, I just... I will never forget what those hackers did. To use such adorable Digimon so selfishly as their puppets, as their slaves. And the Digimon were so miserable, I felt so, so bad for them. When I saw what you were doing, I knew I needed to do something too. Looking around from the sidelines isn't good enough. There must be something I can do to help. I just can't think of anything specific I can do right now. But if you do, you'll be the first to know. Look forward to it. Okay, it's on. I'm going to use the power of my sexy cute bod to the max. Nokia has Shirmine. Work your stuff! She's gone insane. But definitely. Interesting that, like, the one recurring boss fight was freaking... I, I already forgot his name. Jimikin. Shaking farm trees makes fruit fall. I love them, but I can't take too much. I can't do an Impmon voice. Shaking farm trees makes fruit fall. I love them, but I can't take too much. I can't do the proper accent. Before, well, I guess we could take a case, like maybe a hacker case. I think there could be a hacker case down there. Let's see. Property, 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 property. All of it is property, and then there's two that will probably teleport me around. So first we're going to go to the demon diddly. Because there was an item shining on stage. I do find it funny that he actually changed Deputy Mon Metal. I guess, okay. I just figured it would be something more interesting. Alright, now we'll log out. Next thing that we need to do is use the memory up. Use the memory up. Memory up, memory up, mem 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 memory up. Oh, if I I can use friendship, I have three friendship DXs. HP restraint. I apparently have lots of increases ABI. You say increases ABI. You say. Say, can you see murder Satan with beans? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. Losing my mind. But yeah, now we need to organize again. Which should probably be... This. Needs a thousand seven hundred. What brave points do I have? Or whatever they're called. Screw it. Ripping net. What be ripping net? Physical attack. Electric damage. Stun target. 70% accuracy. Into, we don't really use level one, so we might as well put it there as an option. Well, let's take a case. The number one gamer, home security. We haven't gotten a purple one in a long time. They're not normal. Hmm. Home security, number one gamer. Let's see. Farm expansion plugin. And attachment C's, I guess you. Nakano TRF, Broadway. I want you to look into the guy who took my title as champion and top grappler. Is this guy a cheater? It's probably a Digimon. All right, to the fourth floor. Right. 
Uh, it said Broadway, and I think we're in Broadway. And while we're up there, we can probably sell the Bibbidi Bop. Because he'll probably be at the. Yeah, the Dibbity Dup, the uh, arcade. Go ahead and dump all the metals I currently have. Might as well come in here, check and see. Anybody? Nope. Can't even access Pete's. Bibbity Bop. Oh! Okay, we can just jump right in. Top Grappler, wasn't that a famous online multiplayer beat em up? Looks like the top score GL is logged in now. Logged in through a. What's it called? An arcade machine? I didn't know that arcade machines did online. I guess it's basically an arcade cabinet is just a. Bibbidi Bop, uh, a computer with a specialty diddly D, but still. Kill the poor baby. I forgot Gautamon was low on health. Hopefully he doesn't get a chance to attack. Good, he died. I'm gonna go ahead and use some low-level heals, since we have five million of them, and I really should use them in between fights. Just coming up here to make sure there isn't anything of importance that I care about. I probably could have looked, but my brain just went, that's a way I can go. And uh, ran ahead with uh, no care for anything. Looks like I'm going to be able to get a Agumon, normal Agumon. Then again, I could just use... <laughs> That's actually a funny thing. Silent Samper Alert! You say child abduction and coffee? Nothing I can do. Like, I get the purpose of Amber Alert, but it is still kind of... Not funny, but... Like, it... To people that are just like... Me, I guess. They're like, what do you want me to do? What is the purpose of telling me? I can't use this information. Ah, that's an interesting design. He has a very active design. We're gonna save in front of him. Because he does not scare us. Are you a Leomon? Gra <laughs> Grapple Leomon! Hmm, I really broke a sweat. What? Are you my next opponent? You don't even look like a video game character. Sure, whatever. I don't care who I'm against. Game characters, Digimon. So long as they're strong, it's all good. Cool, let's do it. And you better be good. Grapple Leomon. Uh, of course you get to go first, because you're a jerk. Hmm, he's a vaccine type. Bash his face in! Holy light! How dare I miss your slaughter! Die. Oh, well, that's not nice at all. Holy light, too! Burn in hell. Bash his face in. Lightning paw. Don't kill the... Don't kill... Hmm. Well, let's try and kill him. Hope the cross counter doesn't activate. Haha! <laughs> no cross countering for you! Go back to Smash, Counterman! Wow! You beat me! You are super strong. There aren't many others like players in this game. Stronger than me anymore. I think it's time to move on to a new training ground. But against worthy opponents like you, well, that's a different story. 
So, when do you want to fight again? Tomorrow? Or maybe the day after? Huh? You're not a character in this game. You're a detective. Really? So I've ever went into a game with detectives in it. I could fight lots of strong Digimon users like you! Well, maybe. But you're a detective. You don't want me beating up your detective friends, right? Don't worry. I'll just train for a while. Right, it's settled then. Let's go find somewhere to train! Are there any games with lots of detectives in them? Digimon are quite odd. You'll find. Oh. Yo, are you a sloop? The top score disappeared from the game. Was that you? Well, if you're involved, let me thank you. Meet me at Nakano Arcade. He's gonna see me pop out. Intelligence. Attachment Divity Dog. I could probably add decent attachments to these. No, not that. Let's see. Researcher. Yeah, we can keep you. Add some speed attachment. Or SP attachment. Now that's only raises it by five. That's kind of funny, it's like 130, but it's over 120. Let's see, great defense, we could raise intelligence, speed, great. Fighter disc! Oh, that's what that does. Oh, okay, DX, mm, okay, understandable. I'll just give you that one. Let's pin block again. Reduces defense and intelligence penetrating damage. Give you an actual thing to use. But hey, this is the first time I think that the other tab of my Digiline was used. And now for this place to never show up again. Because I can't just go teleporting into Bibbidi Pops. I wonder where that other guy went. Ah, you're the detective. You're coming here probably has something to do with the jail, that jail guy's disappearance, right? What did you say? Jail's a Digimon? Of course, obviously those damn hackers got into a game and started playing as a cheat characters. Whew, I'm just glad the cheater is gone. I've just been put back in first place. Thanks for taking my case. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, see, there's another game now that's popular. That's Top Grappler. The game's called Case File 3 Secret Code. There are lots of detectives coming in, hanging around and carrying out investigations. Recently, it's been getting really violent with people bashing in detective characters' faces. For a mystery game, it's pretty scary stuff. Hilarious. Digimon just do crazy things with technology. And I got a farm extension plug-in. Great work. What do you say? Pour a cup of key. Cup of keys. The ultimate punishment. Attack C and defense C. My shut-in son likes chatting online. There's one girl he really likes, but need to know if she's for real. To the K-Cafe. Oh, I just teleport there. Ah, you there. You're the detective who took my case. Nice to meet you. My son, Na... Naoya? Naoya? He's a high school freshman, but he's become a shut-in. He won't go to school. I'd like you to find out the reason for this, please. Recently, all he does is stay in those internet chat rooms. And then there's this Athena girl he met there. They seem to have grown quite close. Oh, a foreigner? No, that's probably just her internet handle. I don't know her real name, age, or gender. Normally, he doesn't talk to the family. Athena's the only one who ca he cares about. He's naive, and it worries me to think someone's deceiving him. Please, I need you to log on as Naoya and find out what kind of person this Athena really is. I wrote down his ID and password. That's a little invasive. I don't know if Athena will believe you when you say you're Naoya, so I'll give you more information about him. He's a 15-year-old born in Aomori Prefecture. He hasn't been back to Aomori since childhood, but he always said he'd love to go back. His favorite things are games and sleeping. He's got a good memory. He loves hamburgers, and his favorite colors are green and white. I'm going to have to remember all this. Oh. Oh, no. His strength is that he's honest. His weakness is that he's very shy. He seems like a self-proclaimed basement dweller, like everyone says. Do you think he'll be enough for you? Well, anyway, please investigate this, Miss Athena. Oh, wait, I got a thing. Up. Oh. Kind of rude to send digi lines this much. Even now, I'm glad you're the one who raised, who raised me was you. Looking forward to the future. 
and then I could immediately go and grind you up for experience. You were asked for, by the mother of a young shut-in boy to investigate a girl named Athena. Can I to the chat room? And now I'm going to have to roleplay. Oh, hi, Anaya. How are you today? Wait, didn't you say you wouldn't be able to log on until later this evening because you were going to take part in an arcade event? <laughs> the event got cut short. Really? Awesome. So you can spend all day talking to me. Definitely seems like she's Athena. Actually, how long have you been here today? I want to hear more about your stories now, yeah? Yeah, tell me about the rest of the story where you were telling me yesterday about what happened when you went to the arcade the other day. Oh, the one about the music game, right? Eh, nope, not that one. I mean, the one about the beat-em-up competition. You said you used the weakest character, but you still won. Um, now, just a test. Would it be alright if I asked you a few questions? Now, yeah, what's your job again? And I'm a child, mind. I'm a student, but I don't actually go to school. Ah, uh, that was it. A student thought you said you'd always stay home. All right, second question. What do you say your favorite food is? Hamburgers. <laughs> What's that Ace Attorney meme? Eat your hamburgers. I forget his name, though. That's right. You definitely said you like hamburgers. Maybe the question too easy. Okay, last question. Dear Sam, why is asking you? Now, yeah, do you like me? He? Hmm. Sure. That's such a nice guy thing to say. You're definitely now, yeah. No, he's really shy. He would never come right out and say he likes me. He'd just compliment me on my nice points instead. Now I'm sure you're a fake Jersey. Now you can't. What do you want? Just stop. Stop pretending you're now, yeah. Well, time to connect, jump. I wonder what happens if you... Well, I guess nothing really worked there because if you reject her outright... She'll probably be like, no, you would never say that. Because it basically is one of those, oh, we're not actually going to give you the options to actually get through this encounter. Because you're not meant to get through the encounter. It's just there as, like, flavor for the event. Can just a simple holy light annihilate you? Demi Devimon. What is with all these Digimon crushing on humans? Hmm, and I can teleport here. Annihilate the small one. Now annihilate the smaller one. And we get a combat diddly D again. Hilarious. And it was a critical. That Demi Devamon got nuked. Yeah, so this is an exit point, not an actual entry point. Luckily, that just means the one way to go is the one way to go. And I'll need to be careful because going to the Digimon. Could very well just end this area, so we want to grab item. HP restraint chips. We don't use those, because they're consumables that you use on enemies, I presume. Alright, we have our... I messed up. I wanted the item, and then the item was worthless to me. It's that item. I'm never gonna use it, but I'm never gonna sell it. It'll just sit there. It's like that, uh, what is it, Prods? I forget, like, the internet name. But he does, like, funny little sketches. Use an elixir, but they're a rare item. It's the final boss, but I only have 93. You, you're the one who just here a second ago using Naoya's account, weren't you? For Naoya to be fooled by a liar like you into letting his account get stolen. It's for a case, I had no choice. No, I don't care. I don't want to hear what your reasons are. Anyway, I have nothing more to say. Go away! Well, boss time. Guard break field. So, just like, yep, that's what I figured. Defense down across the board. My favorite. Virus. So, I should probably bring Togamon out of this fight. 
For a moment, I thought that killed. All right, let's bring Sorcery Mon in for more nuking potential. And the AI had a stroke. It's because I brought Sorcery Mon, isn't it? It's because I brought in a Digimon that wasn't defense downed. And the AI was like, no, must use defense down attack. You stupid Minerva Mon. You stupid fool. Hydro water. Cut her in half. Hilarious. Utterly hilarious. I laugh in your face. Uh, why? Why did you pretend to be now yet and come into this chat room? Are you trying to get me banned from the chat room for pretending to be a human? Can't Digimon chat just like humans? Are you saying Digimon and humans can't be friends? Before you got here, I'd never heard anyone. I just wanted to come here and listen to now your stories. So that's it. You were asked to come he here by Naoya's mother and pretend to be him. Naoya, he couldn't make any friends at school. He stopped going and became completely absorbed in this chat site. I was interested in the site and came to live here. When I met Naoya, I made myself look like the other characters here and started chatting. Naoya hasn't talked to his family in a while. Sometimes he'd miss school, his family would be hard on him, but made it even harder to talk. He always told me he wanted to talk to his family just like he used to, and he wanted to go to school and get along with everybody. If Naoya's mother is worried about him, could you please tell her to sit down with him and talk to him kindly? I'm sure Naoya will open up to her. I'll do my best to encourage him as well. Alright, that seems fair enough. Oh, and, um... Could you please not get me kicked off this site? <laughs> Be a good friend to Naoya from now on. Yeah, sure! Woohoo! I mean, the Digimon didn't wasn't actually doing anything. Uh, Detective, were you able to talk to Athena? Yeah, it's just they were good friends. He tells her a lot, apparently. I didn't realize he was so worried about the family. My son is a shut-in. He's different from other kids. If he doesn't get back to school soon, I don't know what will become of him. I guess all that worry has made Naya nervous about talking to me. Detective, from what you saw, what kind of person is Athena? She's a very good person. I see. From the stories I've heard of her, she seems like a very kind person. She seems to be someone who really cares about Naoya, which is good. I feel really bad that I doubted her intentions. Tonight I think I'll make hamburgers. They're his favorite food and I haven't made them for a while. I doubt I'll be able to repair our relationship quickly, but I'll start trying to listen to what my child says more carefully. Detective, I'm so glad you took the case. Thank you so very much. That's a sweet case. I like that guy. I like these. These basically feel like they could be like episodes of a TV sh like an anime like it just feels that's the best way to put it and I, I like that feel it's a nice feeling and then we'll head to the digilab HP attach B. Not bad at all. I command investigation. Oh yeah, didn't we get an expand for this uh this place too? And now I demand you develop. And is there anything interesting from the terminal that I want to buy? Best meat. That greatly increases CAM, but... So, dramatically and greatly. Oh, and on rare occasions. And these are just... Oh, hey. Developer know-how. Increase the quality of uh, made goods and development. Oh, and I can buy... HP and SP generators. Study room. Treadmill. I'm gonna try something. I want to see... If I can put two... Like, uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba, developer know-hows... In the same farm. If I can, and you can stack them... Because, let's see. 
It's uh. Let me see. I want to just see. Farm goods. Nope. Okay. I just want to make sure that the text wasn't like grayed out like that because of reasons. Stack it. Stack it all the more. Sure thing. I should probably look it up if it does it, but uh, screw it. All right, now we're gonna check the board, see if any new cases were added. No new cases, just property, property, property. Whoop! it's time to walk around the world. Walk around the world, walk around the world. Let's sell that topaz that I got. I wonder if I can, at least I think I gotta, oh, add more. At least I thought I had a topaz. Profound sadness. Let's see, what can I buy from you? I can now get some seeds. Wish that I could buy a revive. But I cannot. Profound sadness. You know, you know what would have been cool if there were like, uh, if there were like cameos from other like uh, Digimon series up in here. Just like maybe in the background as uninteractable characters. They don't even. Uh, I don't. Were they always standing there? They were probably always standing there. My brain is just like playing tricks on me. My brain deciding today we will fry. And while I'm here, I'll sell you the like two that I have. Apparently they're very rare too. The only disappointing thing about the metals, I suppose, is the fact that they are reused art, but eh, that's not a terrible thing. Oh, hey, Ryota. Hey, Ryota. It's kind of cool having a detective as a buddy. But, on the one hand, it, it doesn't hurt anything, I suppose, to just have kind of stock art for the little kind of collectible character thingies that are just there for, like, pocket change. And it's just like, if they already have the stock art of these characters... Of these Digimon. If they all. Ready. If they already have the stock art of these Digimon, why not use it? It feels like something's out to kill! Why was there a slash? A case came in from Detective Mariyoshi. Hurry up and come. What? You felt something ominous in the air just now. Since when have you been so superstitious? It's probably nothing. Just get back here so we can get back to work. I should see if there's a new case to investigate. Interesting. And weird. Very odd. I think I went through that pole. I am, well, I guess my body is digital. Yet I drink coffee. The world has nothing on me. Oh, this place looks nice! <gasps> ah! Who the hell are you? Why are you so vulgar? Huh? If you want to eat, just come inside, did you say? You don't understand. A lady such as myself can't simply go into a place such as this un unoccupied. By the way, the other day I saw a girl left alone outside this place. She looked so lonely. She was fair-skinned and had black hair, and she was looking at this display, perhaps, perhaps the way I saw the girl. Ah! What? So, so, Neon, how's the new body? Have you broken it in yet? While you're out having fun, we've got another quest for the Cyber Sleuth. It's quite a big, complex case. And once you get back to the office, uh, you can find the case on the whiteboard. What the hell, gluttonous lady? So she saw Yuki? Is that her name? It's been five billion. The Kirishima lady that is helping us. So she was standing outside. 
is that why do I my brain immediately goes because she drooled kind of like how the, the shy girl Kishima also drooled at the Tokiaki stand and but I don't know why she screamed maybe she is her mother I got new two new cases Broad Daylight and Broadway Food Tour. I'm an undercover f uh, eater for food reviews, and I need someone to help me investigate something. Bank Expansion Drive. Okay, sure. Yeah, I know it's out of the blue, but are you hungry right now? <laughs> Kids your age are always hungry. Actually, this case came from the web. It's quite a strange one. We have a request for somebody who ranks gourmet restaurants as a personal hobby. She would like you to go to Nakano and grade the gourmet restaurants there and report back to her. The fees and expenses have all been paid up front. I decided it wasn't a risk, so I took it on. I've decided to entrust the case to you guys. <laughs> Kyoko, oh, is that egg and rice place really doing all you can eat buffets now? Can I really eat for free, Kyoko? This is hilarious. Yes, it's a present from me to all you hungry little kids. Please try your best on this one. Hilarious. So, the three restaurants we're going to are a Chinese restaurant, a sushi restaurant, and a tea house. Wait, what about the egg and rice place? It looks like each one of these places is in the Nakano building. Ah, uh, what about the egg and rice place? <laughs> we can visit the places in any order. I'm starving. Let's just go. What about the egg and rice place? <laughs> You're getting to eat at three other places. You don't need just egg and rice. Huh? What restaurant is this? This place is kind of run down, actually. It's falling apart. Actually, no, it's a complete dump. You must be blind. This place looks great. If it's been deteriorating, it means it's been here for a long time, which means customers have been coming here for a long time, which means it's good. Great, let's go in. Yeah, what are you having? I don't even get a say. Hmm, what should I have, or do I? The chahan, I have no idea what that is. Looks good, but so does the mapu dofu. Huh? Half a chahan meal? Hmm, that way I could just have the parts of chahan I like the, uh, like the best. Okay, I'll go for that then. Half a chahan and a mapu dofu, here you are. Wow, they give good-sized portions here. This is a good choice. Ah, the delicious smell. I guess it's the Sichuan pepper in the mapu dofu. Hmm. Ah, the Sichuan pepper is making a beautiful harmony of the even most delicious star and ace. I'm gonna try and put the chahan in my mouth while the aftertaste of the mapu dafu is still there. That was great. Uh, that was delicious. Just like I thought, this place is amazing. That was great. Crab omelet and egg chahan with a stir fried mushroom and egg. Hello, Yuko. Not Yuki, Yuko. Who are you? Hey, what are you doing? Come on, let's go. Uh, yes. Again, this just feels like an anime. There's tons of bad hackers in Eden, right? Going there doesn't scare you. I don't get a choice, so I don't care to read. If I don't get a say, shut up. I just want to make sure that wasn't there that I was missing. Wasn't one there that I was missing. Welcome to the best Tokiaki in the universe. You're not true Nakanoan until you try. Apparently we're not going there. Oh, but sure, it is. go to the cafe. Where's the other two? Where are the other two restaurants? I am blind. I am a fool. I'm a blind fool. I refuse to buy glasses. I'm going to quickly check. Chinese sushi tea. Think that we could get tea at the coffee shop. Well, 
was it all on the first floor? At this rate, I think it is. I am a horrible fool. Oh. Just blend into the wall, why don't you? I'm coming, I'm coming! The sushi restaurant is next! Sushi! What's up? You seem tense. Because it's a sushi restaurant where the food doesn't come round on a conveyor belt. I've never seen that before. Ah, uh, that's so sad. Uh, what? Are you making fun of me now? Have you ever been to a fancy sushi place? Moving on. What do you want to eat? Hmm, I'm definitely going for the omelet. Uh, the omelet. You don't get it at all. Huh? You know, egg was a dessert a long time ago. If you eat something sweet like that, you'll ruin your fish. When you eat sushi, you should always start with white fish. That way the experts, the way the experts do it is they eat clean tasting white fish first, then fattier fish, then sushi rolls. Ah, uh, that's so boring. Jeez, no wonder you don't get any girls. You're such a nerd. But what? I wasn't going to. Anyway, let's go inside. Neon, what are you going to start with? This is like the first time that Arata and Nokia have interacted since the Eater incident, as far as I can tell. Some people think they know everything about sushi and keep going on and on about it, but the best way to eat it is the way you like it. Hmm, still I can't decide. At times like this, the best thing to do is look at the chef's recommendations. Ah, uh, today's recommendation is squid. Okay, I'll start with that then. Sure thing! One squid coming right up! Okay, they're putting the sushi on my plate. You certainly don't get this kind of treatment at the cheap conveyor belt sushi place. Now then. Wow, it's plump, springy, and thick. It really looks delicious. I'll just put some soy sauce on it to pop it in my mouth. Oh, that's amazing! The squid is a little bland, but the al dente texture and the unique taste complement each other beautifully. Okay, now that I have worked up an appetite, the next one is... I'm just on and on and on. That was delicious! I'm stuffed! That was absolutely delicious! Mm, so this is what an expensive sushi place is like. Huh, you... You never knew what you were... You... You never knew what you were talking about, did you? Huh? Well, at least I didn't just order fish eggs! Everything you ordered is eggs! You're obsessed! Also, when you left the restaurant, you said, Oh, I assume, didn't you? I just wanted to try it once. Is that so wrong? Oh, yeah, su comes from the term, I also want sukasu. It is used only by the staff to talk to customers, never the other way around. Hey, Neon, wouldn't it be best if you wrote the report? <laughs> oh, cool, that's great. The way I can focus the eating part. Hey, don't just ignore me! All right, now we need to, let's see, we're on floor two. Now let's take a look around once more. All the places, make sure I'm not missing them. What that is, I do just like the little conversations the characters have. I mean, again, T, are we going to the cafe place? It would make sense to be the place to end. Come on, this is the place that should be reviewed. Or maybe it's on the bottom and I'm just dumb. I don't even know why we can go inside. What is the point of you? Oh, it's right here. Wow, this place sure does have a lot of menu options for a tea house. Curry, pancakes, salty mackerel, set meal. Looks like this place serves all kinds of foods. So, what are you having? Mmm. Ah, they have an egg set meal. Free second helping. This is the egg and rice place that Kyoko said has no you can eat buffet. Ah, uh, but they have rice omelet meal as well. Mmm, rice omelet. Alright, let's go inside. Yeah, what do you want to order? So, I'm assuming this is the second place where we we're supposed to go, and then the accusation of egg was going to be the final one, but I, I messed up the timing. I'm a failure. A tea house? Cool. I like the retro feel of this place. The menu has so much on it. I really can't choose. Huh? Neapolitan pasta. Obviously the best pasta is from a pasta restaurant, but I like this place. Okay. I'll go for it. You're Neapolitan, sir. Here you are. Sir? I think I just had a microtransaction. Micro mi microtransaction. A microaggression. Nice bright red tomato sauce on thick spaghetti. Wow, this place really does good Neapolitan pasta. And look at the chopped sausage on top. I can't resist. Wow, after the taste of the tomato sauce is gone, the spice of the chili comes in strong. This is no kick. This is no kids' dish. Mm, not bad at all. 
Well, the thing about putting grated cheese on top is some people put it on before they start, whereas I prefer to add it halfway through. That was delicious. Mm, I'm stuffed. The price and taste are astonishingly good. The range of foods on the menu is very wide. Just what you'd expect from a Nakano restaurant. Yeah, look, looks like this place has a lot of regulars. Wow, you were really hungry today. That's the first time I've ever seen one single human stomach take such a beating. And all of it from eggs. I think I'm done with this report. Time to get back to the office. Did you write the report, Neon? I did. Yeah, the report is good, but it's a pain in the ass to read. While we were eating, this guy just kept talking to himself and never spoke a word to the rest of us. This guy. Hmm. Wow, I never thought you'd have such a talent for writing reports. So, by the way, who's the undercover tester client anyway? He kept his true name hidden. I Was it Yuko? Was this Yuko's way of being a friend? By just like, I'm going to... Like, yeah, was this Yuko's way of like, I'm going to pay for you to have a nice meal spree. And I'm going to do it from the shadows. That would be hilarious. He kept his true name hidden. I only know his web handle, so I don't actually know. And anyway, even if I knew, I have to keep the information confidential, so I couldn't say. Well, oh, come on, Kyoko. I really want to know. This undercover examiner. Who the hell is he? I mean, why else would Yuko just randomly be there? You must be first after all those restaurants. How about some coffee? We could try a new blend. Use a kosho and sour cream. Keep sour cream out of the coffee. Bank expansion drive. Didn't we just get that? Shinjuku from Matayoshi. An invisible slasher. An invisible slasher is rampant in Shinjuku. Catch the culprit before something serious happens. All right. There's been a string of some real oddball incidents lately out in Shinjuku. Cars, trees, building exteriors, they're all getting sliced up. And with clean cuts, too, like someone took a real sharp knife to them. Thankfully, nobody has actually gotten hurt by this so far. Right now, it's just a case of trying to curb vandalism we're dealing with here. But it's heavy-duty stuff getting damaged here. Imagine if people start getting targeted somewhere as dense as Shinjuku. It'd be a real problem. As long as we don't know who's behind this, we can't predict what'll be next. And the police can be hardly be bothered to get off their asses and... Like, this'll help us. It's after the last incident. I see. Where is this going? Alright, we'll check it out for you. Again, that's just a terrible posture! Your- your chair is sideways! I've hacked it to- uh, I mean, I've politely borrowed access to a security camera in Shinjuku, so we can check out what's been recording. I don't see anything, and I damn well don't hear anything right now, either. Doesn't look like I can find any actual crime scenes, though I'd wager that you've already checked out on this yourself. There's really nothing left on there, huh? Oh, hee <laughs> hee, I just found something interesting. Here's my trusty assistant from just a little while ago. Let's take a look. Slippity slap. Wait, was that flash of light just now? Hmm, we might just have a real life Kamai. Kamai Tachi on our hands here. You've probably heard about them before from folk tales, right? Kamai Tachi are weasel spirits who, with sh claws sharp as a sickle. To hear those stories tell it, they attack people by appearing inside a sudden whirlwind, cutting their victim's skin sharply in its wake. What probably really happens is that when people's skin gets really dry, it can get cut up by small rocks blowing in the wind, or so we thought. Looking at this footage, I think it's safe to say that's no ordinary gust of wind. Knowing that, there are sure, well, could be an actual Kamayatachi on the loose in Shinjuku, hmm. Putting fairy tales aside for the moment, what we do know is that light reflected off something. Maybe the wind somehow. Or a blade. Or maybe something else entirely. Who knows? But that light definitely skimmed really close to your head there in the footage. If you hadn't felt anything ominous back there, we might have seen your head pop off your shoulders. <laughs> Better stay sharp. You can only stay lucky for so long, you know. Head back to Shinjuku, investigate the surrounding area. Detective Mariyoshi and I will stay here and analyze the footage some more. How is my digital body eating food? That's my question. 
does my digital body poop? That implies that my digital body has something akin to stomach acid. Again, this is me just funny aha and taking it too seriously. But again, I would not mind if there was a Digimon Cyber Sleuth anime adaptation. I think it would be cool. There's a thin line cor uh, coursing through here that looks like a burn mark. Wait, a burn mark? You found a burn spot, you say? Hmm, anything else of note you found there? What's wrong? Does something feel off again? A flash of sunlight reflected off a window and blinded you. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like you froze, Kyo, for the time being. Oh, wait, there she goes. She's moving again, because she's looking something up. <laughs> Once she's like this, she's lost in her own world. No point trying to talk with her. Looks like she'll be at it for a while. I hate ordering you around since you don't work for me, but would you mind looking around for more clues for us? We've had a lot of reports about this phenomena coming into the police department, so there could definitely still be something left to find. There's another one of those burn marks on the sidewalk. <gasps> I feel that murderous intent again. I dodge. I dodge. I'm too quick. You're too slow. Hey, it's me. I figured out what's going on. The culprit, whoever they are, is using reflections to their advantage. Have you ever heard of the Walkie Talkie building? It's a super tall skyscraper in London that was at the center of a really bizarre incident. Basically, there were cars parked nearby that mysteriously had parts of them melted and warped. The cause of it was the building's windows. The panes were installed in such a way they reflected a sunbeam potent enough to damage the cars. In this instance, though, we're not dealing with sun rays. Judging from the flashes of light in those burn marks you found, we're probably dealing with lasers here. But this isn't your ordinary laser pointer we're talking about. Only weapons-grade lasers could leave such deep marks. The question is how someone managed to set them up all over Sinchuku and fire them off about people spotting them. There hasn't been any big power surge in the area. Could there be batteries? No, wait, the digital wave readings are fluctuating weirdly. Don't tell me they're using digital waves as a substitute for microwaves in an impromptu maser. If that's the case, then. Eh, you think you can trust my deductions and your good luck to pull us through? I'm being attacked. And like I never doubt your judgment. I like that attitude, then here's the deal. The culprit is aiming the laser at you using every reflective surface in the area. We're going to use that to our advantage. The fact that the laser bounces around towards you means we can trace it back to its origin point. To do that, you need to get in the line of fire, but you have to time it well or else you'll get a hole burned right through your skull. Do you get what I'm asking here? As soon as the laser's got you, I want you to connect, jump into it, and dive inside. So that means that my character has la literally light speed reactions. If my thinking is correct, the laser is actually a type of digital wave. If it is, the instant the beam of light hits something, it forms a connection with the or origin point and establishes a phone network of sorts. That's what should make it possible for you to connect, jump into it. I know it sounds crazy, but you're easily the luckiest person I've ever known. You can do it. Trust yourself and tackle this head on. Just concentrate. If anyone can do this, it's you. Just frickin' dive into a laser beam. Sure. At least this one makes the most sense. Trivia! What are the items you can place in a Digifarm, huh? Farm items. No, farm goods. That's what they're called. They're farm goods. Hmm. Run my Digimon. Run my Digimon. Ah, SP capsule. I could use some revives. Because I keep... You know, there, there's actually quite the drought of revives. Oh, no. Seeing high-level Digimon is scary. Kill Clockmon! Good, it didn't survive. If it did, that would be horrifying. Oh, no! Like, I know we're still doing decent against them, but every time I see a higher level Digimon, I'm scared. Gabumon is max level at the farm. 
Why is this one splitting up so much? I'm gonna have so many split paths to have to travel. Because I could have items. And we could make a ghost if we wanted to. Annihilate. Discombobulate. <laughs> and discombobulate. Level up everybody. And yes, if we want, we can get a Bakemon. Wow, there's no item in there. Sad news. There's so many split paths, it's just nuts. I get the feeling that I'm going to be able to make a Bakemon at 200% when I get out of here. And I forgot to use the install diddly dees. The farm, no, not the farm, the data bank. No item. Huh, actually, it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, Moltre! No, not Moltre, silly bean. Bash its face in. Aha! Uh -huh. You are actually kind of weak. Kill. I uh, Its name was there, and I just refused to read it. Brain is dumb. That wasn't a... Bibbidi bop. Alright, the game wants me to have a clock mod. Kill the first one. Sorcery Mon, why are you faster than them now when you weren't before? You silly bean. Ah, uh -huh. not good. Don't hit the vaccines. Bastard. Annihilate the Clockmon from the world! Yeah, that wasn't a split off point, silly Billy. Now this is a split off point. Stun recovery. More things I'm never gonna use. Because when it comes to RPGs, I'm pretty dumb. I must have, like, how, what's the effective way of murdering these guys? And then I go to do that. I don't really ponder... ...the proper way of, like, Oh no, this character was afflicted with this status ailment. How do I get rid of it? I am a very simple fool. See an item this way. Eight HP capsules seized. And I think that's all the split offs because this thing is mirrored. Ah, you want to max out my 200% daily, don't you? Works for me. Now I can make a Bakemon. They'd go well with my ice, Devimon. Yes, Digiline, what is it? I got the answer right. Because I am a... God? And there's a boss right in front of this guy. Oh boy. There's a tank Digimon... Waiting just around the corner. Oh boy. We don't want him to get an attack off. Kill him now. Oh no! How dare you get cut apart! This 
victory. All right, at least it's not a, oh, you run into him. More cases have been found. Goody, goody. And I can't save. Well. Who are you? How did you find me here? Are you some garby goo trying to take me back? The army is using Digimon, the horror. You're not with the army. Well, I'm an optical weapon Digimon that broke out of a certain military. I was developed and trained to be a weapon capable of attacking the real world directly from cyberspace. But I hated it. I hated being worthless to them for any other purpose aside from that. And I hate anybody in the army who just tries to treat me like a weapon. So I ran away. Why are you shooting at me then? You're wondering why I was attacking this city? But I was just practicing my techniques over the network to find something else I could do, that's all. Oh, so my lasers were shooting out in the real world without me even realizing? Sorry about that. <laughs> Try all night, no matter how much I run away. I really am just a mean old weapon in the end. Doesn't have to be. I'm wrong, because if I was a real weapon, there would have been casualties. Eh, you're really something. Oh, uh, what? Hey, are you okay? You look like you're... So you look all right, so I'm relieved to see you again. If something had happened to you, it would have made me look really terrible as a detective, so I'm glad to see you're okay. Detective! I knew it, you lied to me! You really are just a government dog! Matayoshi, why? I'll make you pay for this, you two-faced scumbag! If you're so desperate to make me a weapon again, then I'll give you what you want and then some! Take this! What fub? Hyper Cannon! Oh no. Well, that's not good. We need more viruses in here. Gotomon, be replaced by Growlmon! Sorcerymon, be replaced with Garurumon Black! Or as it says, Bilk. Immobilized by recoil! Wow, you're kind of a terrible weapon. Freeze Fang, that fool. What? I thought I changed it correctly, but I didn't. I am a horrible being. Gralmon, get back out of here. Shock! He stunned the boy. Don't let him get away with it. Like a real war, napalm sticks to you. Lol. Kick him in the face. You ever just kick a laser in the face? And that did it? That's enough! I get it. I'm nothing more than a weapon to be fired off. I know that after fighting you now, but if that's the life I have to lead, then I wish I'd never been created. Well. So it was a program Digimon made by a foreign military, huh? I'm sorry I interrupted your conversation. Then. Guess I gummed up the works real bad right then. You'd want to move. Hmm. Still, at least it put a stop to things even though it ended poorly. It really did. Now it's become a serious situation. I mean, not only did you find a top secret military weapon, you also, well, destroyed it. If we're not careful here, this could turn into an international incident that even threatens our security treaty that with that country. Just when Japan finally got them to move their bases to. That deal could have vanished into thin air because of this. Oh, but don't think any of this is your fault. Even if it were to lead to World War III taking place, you shouldn't feel guilty. Lol. <laughs> oh, Kyo, if you didn't know, if I didn't know you better, 
I'd think you were actually being serious. If I didn't know you'd better. Mm. <laughs> oh, but I really am when I'm I not. Anyway, Lady Luck must really take a shine to you. To tell you the truth, there was actually one other thing that flash of light could have been. See, if it hadn't been a normal Mazer, but instead a phenomenon phonon Mazer, you uh, wouldn't be standing here talking to us right now. I detected fluctuations of the digital waves, which made me immediately determine that they were functioning as a Mazer substitute. However, there was also the possibility that instead of microwaves being substituted, that it could have been ultrasonic waves. Rather than rely on photons, phonon masers, like the name it implies, rely on amplified phonons, which makes their properties fundamentally different. If you'd been facing a phonon maser back there, you probably wouldn't have been able to use it like a normal network by an inch connect jump. Now, do you get how lucky you are? You almost killed me. You did some great work out there today, kiddo. Remember to stay hydrated. But that's what you've is for in the first place, so keep it up! Well, that was kind of a depressing end. Investigate means looking for case items, right? Well, try, I'll try my best. And I need to use my bank upgrades. I agree with Detective Mario, she said. So it's back to work for you, kiddo. Your next task awaits you. What? And so, it has come to my attention that the acquisition of the Nile Corporation by Kamishiro Enterprises was illegal. Some rotten underlings did it on their own with no permission. And although this was years ago, it was categorically the wrong decision. And as such, I certainly will not let it slide. With that said, everyone who was even slightly involved, from the vice presidents on down to the delivery boys, I fired them all, each and every one. Mow me on. From here on out, I shall run the company personally as its CEO. In a complete change from the old organization, I shall now control the company directly. Decision making will be faster, and we'll be able to provide the string of new services our customers demand. I'd like to start by taking the first step today. There's a very major project I've had in mind for a while now that I'd like to announce, and that is... A major update to Eden, our flagship service and the cornerstone of people's lifestyles everywhere. With this new update, you'll be able to do that. And this, and maybe even those things. The details are still secret. <laughs> but we'll be hosting an early access demo event for people to try these new Eden updates ASAP. Please join and experience for yourself our new sincerity, along with the new possibilities offered by Eden. Lol. They fired the delivery boys. We got slammed. Indeed, our opponent is not to be underestimated. They really got the upper hand. We were about to launch a raid on Kamishiro on the basis of the materials you obtained for us. When there was a leak in the form of an internal announcement at Kamishiro regarding the raid. In other words, they admitted their guilt before we could pursue any charges. My superiors fell for it completely. They put an end to the case by seizing the evidence we'd prepared and arresting a scapegoat. It's a matter of speculation, but I suspect that it was Kish uh, Kishibi, Kishiba who ordered that announcement. This press conference must be part of a cunning scheme as well. She probably figured that if she got it to the fir press first, she could avoid the apologies and explanations that would invariably come later. But to uh, couple that with the announcement of her becoming the new CEO, as well as these new large-scale Eden updates, all, that, all at the same time... Give him the old razzle-dazzle. It's the Kashibe. A show she's running, and she knows it. On the other hand, we did get evidence proving a connection between Kashibe and the demon hackers. But all the accounts associated with the demons have somehow been magically erased. It'll be tough to identify them in the real world. I see. I'm sorry, Kyocha. Just when we finally had Kamishiro by the tail, they got away. No need to apologize, even if we'd rushed into things earlier. It probably would have all turned out the same. From Nokia. Urgent at cafe. What's up? Come see me! Great, just when we're having a serious talk. At least use a ringtone that doesn't <laughs> suck all the dramatic tension out of the room. Oh, a call from Nokia Shiramine. Don't worry about us, just go. You know the saying, strike while the iron's hot. There's nothing we can do for right now, waiting for her to make the first move is valid plan on our part. Chapter 8. 
No stopping the Gale girls. Oh, we can put your assistance skills to use. I swear that kid might be a godsend for your father. Sent from the great hereafter. Maybe rushing into things might not be the worst idea. Just a little. Hmm? Huh? There's no guarantee that half cyber form will be able to sustain itself forever. And if Kamishiro finds out whose body it is in the hospital, it won't end well, will it? Or possibly. It could be that they're leaving Neon alone on purpose. That they've known the truth for a while now. That would be bad. Like I said, the day of reckoning has come for hackers who want to use Digimon for evil purposes. Oh, Neon, you're late. Why are you always late like this? Back to what we were talking about. What do you mean by day of reckoning exactly? Isn't it obvious? We'll take out the hackers and save the Digimon. Yeah, isn't that a bit high-handed? Losing to Faye earlier made it very apparent that I don't have the chops to do this on my own. That's why I'm planning on forming a Tamer group to face off against those mean old hackers. Tamer group. You've both heard of a hacker team called the Judes, right? The Judes. They were a hacker team that was active a little while ago, right? That's right, Arata. I should have figured you'd know your stuff. Although members of the Judes were hackers, they never did anything evil that would have bothered ordinary users or Digimon. So, what are you getting at? We can form a powerful team by gathering hackers like former Jude members and other like-minded folk. We'll call ourselves the Rebels, and we'll protect Digimon and Eden from evil hackers. What do you think? It's a totally great idea, right? Don't you think the name kicks butt? And Arata will be our leader, of course. There's no one else better for the job. What? Well, you're such an incredible hacker. You saved me that time I was attacked in Kowloon. Oh, and you'll be a rebel too, Neon. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll make you the vice assistant leader, okay? Then, then it's decided. It's the rebels, a good name. We can also go with the Digimon Helpers, or DH for short. No thanks. What? You, you won't do it? Why not? How come? Oh, is it because you don't like the word leader? If that's the case, you can be boss or captain or el jefe or whatever you prefer. I don't have time for your game of make-believe. Game of make-believe? Busy searching for the cause of that crazy sickness. You can do what you want. Hey, Neon. Is this really the best time for you to be hanging out with someone like her? I need to talk to you. Come to Shinjuku later. I'll be waiting. What's up with that? This bite! Fine, he doesn't have to join us. We can do it without him, right, Neon? Yeah. Hey, you. You're Yuko Kamishiro, right? I've heard about you from Neon. What are you doing in a place like this? Kyoko told me that I, what was going on. She said Neon would be here. You have business with Neon. Neon's in there with the loud mouth. You had a very serious look on your face. What were you looking at? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Hamburger set menu. Huge portions. Thick and juicy. You hungry? Okay, then. I'll see you around. <laughs> Arad is just like, I have no time for this. Goodbye. Ah, I'm so angry! What is of that hood-wearing punk? He must be thinking of all that. Look at me! I'm such a nihilist! I'm so cool! I'm so hot! <laughs> well, whatevs. This means... It means... There's only one solution! I'll be the leader! <laughs> What's that look for? You don't have to be so shocked or dubious. Neon, you'll help me recruit new members, right? What? Why the big long pause there? You don't wanna? You don't want to? I'm really worried about the future! Oh, no need to worry. I've got a clear goal in all this. I think you go from the Zaxxons will understand what I'm saying a little better. Whatever will be, will be. Where there is a will, there is a way. Let's start by trying to invite Yugo. And we gotta keep Faye completely out of it. <laughs> well, she's kind of a creeper, isn't she? She talks funny and her style's a bit, uh, she's definitely a perv. Pervert with a capital P. Pervert. Why is that the word you say? What? Are you a friend of Neon's? It seems you're in the middle of something. I'll come back some other time. Oh no, we're not in the middle of anything! We're certainly not talking about perverts! You're not helping. Wait, wait, what up are you? You go Kamishiro from Kamishiro Enterprises? Yes. Oh, she really is your friend, Neon! 
Well, I wouldn't go that far. So, hey, does that mean that we're friends too? What? I mean, right? The friend of a friend is a friend. That's been the way of things have been since for like forever. Yes, well, I'm Nokia Shiramine. Or call me Nokia. Or Akino if you like. That was my nickname back in elementary school. Um, I... I gotta call Yuko, or Yukoring would be totally adorbs. I'll be back later. You just ran off a potential recruit. Sure thing, Yuko. Later! But the funny thing about you is you've got some pretty well-developed relationships to see how poorly developed your character is. Nice fourth wall break. Anyway, let's go to Kowloon and find Yugo. Mark, you're gonna report to, at the agency. Roger that. Let's meet in Kowloon then. Same place as before. Hurry up. Well then, that was fast. Are you done with your business with your friend? The Rebels. The friend of a friend of a is a friend. I have no idea what you're talking about. We seem the type to easily embroiled in trouble. Hmm? What happened to Detective Matayoshi? He just went home a few minutes ago. We're gonna wait for Kamishiro to make their next move. For now, we have some free time. Helping some friends might be good use of your time right now. You never know how the wheels of fate will turn after all. As they say, one good turn deserves another. Huh? One good turn deserves another. You're saying I'm using the proper wrong. <laughs> if that's what you think, go look it up another meaning. Or the correct meaning or whatever. Seven! Property, 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 lots. Oh, and just more property. Property, 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 property. And seven diddly days. Just what, what's with Nokia and those rebels? They just do whatever they damn well please. Come to Shinjuku later. I have something we need to talk about. See you then. I didn't have anything important to talk about. Don't worry about it. Man, I shouldn't have tried to rely on Arata these days. What a blockhead. Let's gather with the rebel members in the Galactic Park. Be there or be square. Let me know if you have any trouble investigating. I'll help where I can. Well, I guess I'll go talk to Arata. First things first is we're going to plug in the data bank thingies, I guess. Unless we have to use them. Either use them in here or use them out there. One or the other. Or did they just a automatically be activated? Alright, the Digibank is big. Alright, Bakemon shall be activated. Demi Devimon shall be activated. I guess Patamon will be activated. Anybody else? Let's see of the new ones. Patamon can become Gatamon. I forgot about that. Demi Devimon can obviously become a Devimon. Or the various other ones. Interestingly, that Ice Devimon is easier to get than Devimon. And Bakemon has a wide string of... I thought that was just a pure black square, but no, it's just big. And you can indeed digivolve into your own set of things. Interesting. Well, I guess we'll go do stuff with Arata. And I think finish off for the stream. To Shinjuku we go! My boy, my dude. Are we going to meet in the underground train station again? Go ahead and save. Just will be a set. Well, first, we should organize my team. Uh, actually, Sorcery Mon. No. Yep. Sorcery Mon will be replaced with Togemon, just in case. And then we can swap out as needed. I forgot to say. Hey, you're late. Well, I knew you'd be here. By the way, is Nokia okay? Whatever. You should learn to mind your own business. When all said and done, people have half-baked sense of justice and a superficial sense of responsibility are the worst. I've heard her try to be a leader. She knows nothing about bearing responsibility. 
but never mind that for now. I wanted to talk to you about that Suido guy. You remember him, right? The strange Kamishiro researcher who was studying mysterious phenomena, whom I think at this point is actually aiming the phenomena, creating the labyrinths, and going like, ooh, what is the result? There's something he said that's been bothering me. Actually, I retraced our steps and saw him again the other day. Flashback time! <laughs> is it very polite to follow someone you know? I suppose this is payback for the other day, Arata Sanada. <laughs> you got me. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, you said something before that bothers me. I wanted to know more about your investigations, too. Think I could take a peek? My, your attitude is splendidly cynical. <laughs> and you harbor such an interest in my work, too. I want you to tell me everything you know about Eden Syndrome, the Eaters. I will, of course, share whatever I know that must have been that brought us together there. If before logging out of from Eden, your mental data is destroyed by an eater, you lose the ability to wake back up. I see. So that's the reason behind this bizarre sickness. Indeed. Although, that is still just a hypothesis. <laughs> I to think that logging into Eden could have an impact on the physical body in the real world. Don't you find that fascinating? <laughs> it's not that crazy if you're... There is a mental connection, so obviously if you're gonna like hook up your brain to send mental data into a virtual space that is controlled purely through the mind, obviously there is can be feedback. But that would still lead to like specific brain damage or something, but we're in the mystical magical realm of where technology and data is also kind of spiritual, so we'll let it slide. And how is the syndrome cured? That, unfortunately, I don't know yet. I do have something interesting on digital shifts, though. Don't keep me hanging here. We've identified a pattern in digital wave of normal abnormalities that trigger the digital shifts. There's always a certain amount of external interference immediately prior to a digital shift. After that, the digital wave increases in bandwidth and the digital shift happens. Interference. Yes! Which means someone or something is controlling these digital shifts. I told you! Apparently it's not Suido, though. That's one conclusion we can reach. Well, that's also nothing more than conjecture, actually. Someone's intentionally causing digital shifts. If you're interested, why not do more research? Silence, phone! I know. I'm on time, phone silence. Why not do more research? A study into what exactly is controlling the digital shift. But I have to ask, why are you so interested in the eaters at Eden <laughs> Why are you? I really want to know what the cause of this bizarre illness is. I wonder if there are any clues around there. I want to try and search the area. And for you, the ship has already set sail, no? Come on, give me a hand. Because we gotta... Okay, let's go! I wonder what he means by that. Like, the uh, the ship's already sailed. Oh yeah, I forgot. Toy, Toy Agumon. Since Sakura is still resting at home, I hope she feels better soon. It's boring when Sakura's not around. Alright, now let's check my case data. None. Shut up. Well, then where do we go? Why do I keep putting all these lines? There's a short set of tracks on the island. Did a train run through here? Yes. 
I don't know where we're going. Does he want to head to the Kamimani? Oh. Huh? What's wrong? Why this sudden investigation of an Eden spot? What? You detected a special network, apart from the connection to Eden. Hey, hold up. What are you talking about? I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> huh? Gone without a trace! Whoa, 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 what the heck is going on? Where in the heck? Where am I? This is no ordinary network. It's much bigger, more expansive. Are these rapids in the digital wave? I find it kind of funny. That the boy, my met. Wait, is that a dead end? One of these ways is the right way. Is a dead end. Oh no, it's a triple threat match with fours. Seems like the favorites for this are Virus and Base. So we should probably bring in... Hmm. Sorceremon! Come in, Ever 2! You hit a silly man. Now you will die like a silly man. Get nuked from orbit. I'm mostly just looking for dead ends. My luck will know that the or is this just a big circle? Ah, huh, Lekmon, huh? All of them are base. Well that's not good. You're the scariest. Die. Lightning paw to the face! Well, at least you're panicked. And we're gonna change out Sorcery Mon for Growl Mon. How dare you hit the Gato Mon. Oh, I was wondering. Nightmare, the other one. A triple damage up. You're dead, boy. And just smack the man. Okie dokie. Oh no, that way's away. I thought it was a dead end. I keep thinking the minor, like, trail off is it finally ending. Ooh. <laughs> what are your types? One base, one not. Kill the base. And then the virus. Apparently, I got an achievement for Metal Fan. Hmm. All right. Interesting. It's just one big circle. Not a back attack right after my first attack. No. Alright, annihilate the base. And then annihilate the virus. 
How dare you miss, you darn bastard! Idle bubble. You bastard. You will die in a fire of fiery fires. Also known as darkness. Part of me wonders if we should look into digivolving some of our Digimon. See ones that are like near le finishing leveling. Hmm. Hopefully we get a Digi Lab opening. Because of brain wants to do a billion things. Because I think we should be able to make a clock mod now. Or whatever he's called. Level up everybody. Everyone's probably in the range for Digivolution anyway. Annihilate base. And then the virus. So long as you don't miss again, Gatomon. In fact, I think Black Gatomon and Gilm, uh, Graumon, yeah, they're almost there. Hell yeah. Why did I come here? Arada. <laughs> Is he gonna message me? Where are you? Ah, I finally got through. What just happened? What the heck did you do? Anyway, I'm headed to your way now. I wanna hear everything about what just happened. I'm a magic. I see. So you have Eden Syndrome, too. You're devoured by an, e uh, by an eater. Suido's theory was right. And your connection jump ability. You can do that because of your current body is... What I mean is... I'm sorry. I should never have left you behind like that. Don't worry about it. You're... too kind. Well, I guess that's that. We have yet another reason to investigate Eden Syndrome. Let's expose the truth of this story. So we can get you, you, so we can get you your body back too. Huh? What's wrong? Did something? Labyrinth. Right here, right now. In front of my salad. This is this is. So the phenomena we're investigating just so happens to occur right where we wound up. That's too perfect to be mere coincidence. Jeez, this keeps catching me off guard. Hey, you're coming too, right? Because <laughs> we have a clear target now. Okay, let's go! But I wanted to pick up that item that was in front of the diddly dude. And there's lots of people just stuck in here. That never ceases to amaze me. The center of the digital world, where the real and the electric intersect. This place looks like it always did before, like a dive without an exit. So all we have to do is take out that Bakemon and change everything back to normal. Why do you know it's a Bakemon that's doing this? I thought it's an eater. Well, what's going on? I mean, this is Asakuso, isn't it? Right? Welcome. It may be an emergency, but I'll still take your money. <laughs> it might be an emergency, but I'll still take your money. Also, don't worry about the giant monsters. They're my giant. Farm. Just a farm expansion module out of nowhere. Okay. Two base and one vaccine. Hmm. Let's annihilate the allies it has first. Oh yeah, we have a guest party member for this. Me forget.
Holy light! Oh no, it's alive. But if I annihilate your allies, then my guest party member will target you instead and hopefully you'll die! Yay. This is like a puzzle game. And another digi line. Pop quiz. How many districts are there in Tokyo? I have no fucking clue. 23. Where am I? Where am I? This is a dream. It's gotta be a dream. Everything was fine a minute ago. Cannon's divine punishment. This will rend this world. Sprite recovery. Mm, the same bibbity bop. Annihilate one. Damage the fatty. Annihilate the little man. Ally kills the final man. Yes, yes, yes. Chat up a storm, my dude. Because I'm just over here handing you all the victories. Well, things certainly are lively today, aren't they? <laughs> Damn, the radio's out too. Um, everyone, please remain calm. Um, I am a police officer. Say that in America and everyone will just start running away. A scared police officer? Fuck. We're all gonna die. Ah, there he is. There he is. My son is gone. Help me find my son. I will throw your son into a well. Help me! I want to go home! A well. Before we get distracted too much, let's go to the Digilab. Evolve some of the dudes in the farms. And then, like, check out our diddly D. You can almost... You're almost high level. You can become... Let's see. Ah, uh, your cam is low, and... Your hacker's memory. Guess I could go in and throw can things at you. Falcomon can become either one, so we'll need to check that out. Kudomon can't become you because needs hero spirit, human spirit of light. Impmon, well, so I forgot to check your like max level. Shoutmon, not close enough. Sukamon, not close enough. Gecko Toyagumon. Toyagumon is ready to go, but is not high enough level, not high enough attack, or can, so it can't become that. So I'm stuck with one of the robots. Let's make him a virus. Congratulations. You are now a virus. Hey, you can become Grappleomon. And the stupid ugly man. Wait, no, it can't be the stupid ugly man, because we already have the stupid ugly man. The fuck? Ah, Gabumon. He's been able to digivolve in a while, but his cam is too low for the main one. And he doesn't have a human spirit of light. Let's see, how much is your cam? Not high at all. Let's, let's see if we can raise your... Bishop disc. Interesting. Uh, I guess uh, over here. Oh, oh yeah, Gabu Mons here. Oh. You must raise your cam. Raise your cam. That raised it enough for you to digivolve properly. Obviously, this is the only way you can handle it. Gabumon, 
digivolve to the obvious one. Because, of course. I think Gururuman stuff is all hidden from me. Let's see. Nanamon, you abomination. Don't think anybody else. Nope. All that's left is, do we really care about the last? But ABI is not high enough, and attack is not high enough. So let's see, your attack is... Yeah, there's no buff in it. Which leaves... Huh, you can become Nightmon or this other Digimon. So it seems like Lady Devamon and this other thing are out. Oh, but this gets rid of your typing, so you don't, aren't a virus type anymore. Because what is your ABI? Nine. So more than likely you'll digivolve and then be perfectly ready. <laughs> you'll have the ABI necessary. How about you, Graumon? You can become Giga Graumon, something else, something else, something else. And then Beast of Spirit Flame Held. Gururumon, let's see, what level are you? You're almost ready too. And you have, like, all possibilities. What about you, Gatamon? Nope, you are still tin away. Hmm, Sorcerymon. He has Wisemon. And then two others. Xvimon, what about you? What level are you? Still a long way away. And Togemon, very long way away. Way, way, way away. Your speed needs to be super high for that one. And that one. So we could, like, look at that one, but I don't think it would be good. So I'm thinking of digivolving Black Gautamon, Growlmon, and Garurumon. Even though that's probably dangerous, because that would leave them all at low level. How did I get that right? Alright, first things first, we're gonna save. Let's see... And take a look and see what this is. Black Gotamon, did you evolve to? Cyberdramon, an ultimate vaccine dark type. What skills do you have? Desolation Claw, neutral damage. Huh. Increases probability of combos occurring and continuing by 10%. Hmm. Honestly, I might not mind you. Staying, even though you can ratcheted up my memory. These other ones don't seem like they would be that bad of an increase. Alright. Worst comes to worst, I can use a little bit of my... Yeah, I'm gonna keep Cyberdrum on. Let's see, Growlmon, what is this one that keeps you a virus? Growlmon, Digivolve 2! War Growlmon! Atomic Blaster! Physical attack, 25, 250 electric damage to one foe, cannot move from recoil. Interesting. But of course I'm going to see what the other ones are. I'll probably choose War Growlmon because, come on, it's the evolution path. Let's see, War Growlmon. And of course that's, what's its name, uh, War Draymon. I'm not even going to comment. Compared to War Greymon and War Drowlmon. Who in their right mind would choose that one? Alright, Growlmon. War Growlmon it is. And nope, not you, but you. Once again, we will save. And if worse comes worse, we can do a little bit of grinding to level up our now low... Oh, that's gonna be a thing. Mm, fear. 
Let's take a look and see what this is. Uh, all our options. Pandamon. No. It's like, that's the one downside to this game when there are like the very clear evolution line ones that everybody's gonna know. And then they're like, oh yeah, and then they can evolve. Oh! Mock Gaumon. Kind of weird that it's not Gaumon that evolved into you, but interesting. But I think I'm going to go with the obvious one, the final one, because it's not a Garurumon evolution line. If you can't have where Garurumon, am I right? Hell yeah. Where, Guru Man? And. I have at least. I have at least one. Alright. Now we need to manage. Back and bring Sorcery Mon to the front. Hmm. And hopefully we can quickly level up these guys and not have to worry about much. Let's get into random fights and pray for the best. We'll get into just a little bit of a fight to feel things out. Destroy him! This is honestly the best lineup for my jank party, but good, good. They already got to level 8. Hmm. Let me quickly, like, let's see. Gatomon is, like, attack 61, but it, it, she's mainly an intelligence fighter. Oh, wow. You guys are actually pretty strong. Then come in where Greymon. And Cyberdramon. Let's try a battle with my ultimate crew. In fact, let's take a look at my thing. Function call. Forces encounters level 2. High security. I can finally do that into a fight. Look at all my Digimon that actually look like big and bad Digimon. My big and scary Digimon. Now let's just take a look around the various places. That has to be a reason for... I knew it. Oh, hey, you. How dare you go first? How dare you think you were doing damage? Alright, let's take a look. Comet Hammer... Grand row, that's not good. Because it is a vaccine. Then I shall speed up Cyberdramon. You'll pay. Die! Palm. And of course, you get to have the you get the killing shot. Kill Stealer. Hell yeah! Look at my lovely team of ultimates. So really, I probably shouldn't have used my brave point. On you, War Growlmon. Oh wait, have we talked to you? Nope, you're just wandering around. You have a long wander path. Oh, Leomon! We haven't seen you. Let's see, you are another vaccine, so... This probably won't do much to you, but I'll kick you anyway! Oh dear. 
gone. Oh no. Feast of the Beast King! And you picked Cyberdramon to be the one to do that. Cyberdramon, we're gonna beat you up. And then Wolf and Napalm. He is a big beefy boy. Full Moon King! Oh no. Alright, annihilate this fool. I could do that, but it doesn't really matter. Nightmare. Bye bye, Leomon. I always like the labyrinth music. Hmm. I'm forgetting, like, I wish I could, like, check your digivolutions here and now. Let's see. Settings, because you guys can actually have a lot of items now. You an attack C and an HP E. Let's increase your defense. Your speed. Your speed again. Let's make you a speedy boy. You can get super healthy. And I'm gonna head in just so I can like check. Because since this team is doing pretty good, I have half a mind to Digivolve. Well, not Gatamon, because Gatamon still has quite a bit to go. But Sorcerymon? Hmm, it's that one that I want. But what are your... 57, and what's the thing required? 65 attack and 85 speed. Uh, a few more levels and... Wrong button. And there's no way you're getting attacked, so we should pro uh, no, but then we'll have to drop somebody. Who would we drop? Probably X Beamon. Because we haven't really used you, X Beamon. And we don't even have a Stingmon. are two digivolutions, but again, they would have to force us to kick someone off the team, which at that point might very well be Togemon, our starter. What about you, Togemon? You need more speed? You need more speed? What is your speed? Actually, a few more levels, and you will be able to digivolve. We'll probably... But all of them are ABI lock, so War Growlmon will have to be a D Digivolved. Level 80. Uh, like level 80 ABI. What about you, Wagrumon? Oh, Minervamon. Interesting. Not as bad ABI requirements. So that's where the end game grinding comes in to go beyond bippity ba will be very interesting. Yeah. Hopefully, in this next upcoming fight, we'll be able to get another memory up. So I won't have to make a choice on kicking someone off the team. In fact, let me just take my... I just want to make sure I didn't have an elusive memory up that I just forgot, but let's go on with my ultimate only tea. Yeah, I just want to 
want to check these back alleys. There's actually an item up there. A haunted swing set. That <laughs> <laughs> right as I was talking about you. Right as I was talking about you. Oh, hey, Hugo. That was... That was the ghost of the pale boy that we saw earlier. So if the previous pattern holds, that Bakemon must be nearby, right? Don't you mean Eater? Hey, hey, what are you guys doing? Um, we thought if we followed you, we'd find the exit. I already told you, I don't need a whole crew of tagalongs following after me. Whoa, what's that? Eater. Huh, just as I expected. Here it comes. What? <gasps> And it ate the tagalongs. Hang on, seriously? What is that thing doing here? I thought we established this. The eaters follow where the elaborates go and ate another guy. Is it Digivolving? Oh no. The eater Digivolved. So it transformed after devouring a person? Neon, keep your guard up. There's a theory that it's stronger after transforming. I mean, it did Digivolve. Not good. But Ah, uh, fuck. Full moon kick! I don't have any anti-dot power. That's bad. Well, that's extra bad. Do I have anti-dot? Sprite recovery, I have three. And it gets to go twice. What loveliness. Data is converging. Atomic Blaster! Yeah, everyone get into the combo! Hell yeah! Full Moon Kick! Desolation Claw! Luckily, it hit my invincible ally. Ahaha. Ah, ah, ah. Oh boy. Data is converging. Oh yeah, immobilized by recoil. I forgot. Desolation Claw! I need to remember how much damage these stats do. I just knew a normal attack. Oh, of course, this is the one that gets a combo. Oh, but it was a critical! Hell yeah! Atomic Blaster! War Greymon. Growl. Greymon. Growlmon brought the heat. And Uber leveled up everyone. I probably should have leveled up some more characters. Or, like, evolved them so they would be super level 2. But yeah, that's disturbing. It really was as strong as theorized after all. Huh? Oh yeah, the... Why did you keep saying Bakemon, though? We all know an Eater was behind the Labyrinths. <sighs> so taking out the eater makes everything go back to normal, same as always. That's a relief. Still, took down that Bakemon. No, we didn't. But still, something is controlling that strange phenomenon. And 
we still don't know why. So he goes with the syndrome. He didn't get any new info. Oh, then that means. Hello, Suido. Yeah, you! What are you doing here? I came when I detected the digital shift. Were you two caught up in this by chance? I see. Now, oh, why did you say anything? That's not the sort of thing to keep mom about. And? This time around? Ah, yes. Well, it was powerful. So much so that the Bakemon could transform after eating something. <laughs> that is very interesting. That information fits to a new theory I am postulating. A new theory? It seems that an eater changes its form bit by bit to reflect what it incorporates into itself. By incorporating human data, this eater was able to attain a form that was close to human. Could it be that eaters have come to find more simple data, uh, digital data unsatisfying? It could be attempting to incorporate data from humans, which are organic life forms! Human data? What the heck for? I don't know yet. Not for right now, not at least. Thank you very much for the valuable information. Uh, hey, wait! Ah, yes. Things have been left unsaid. I know you're a big fan of mine. I find you rather agreeable myself. What a creepy thing to say. No, I... Your outlaw spirit wanting to stay unencumbered. Your rebellious streak, your desire to defy things greater than yourself. So many possibilities are open to you, Mr. Arata. Let us meet again. Very soon, I hope. He's a weird little man. Sheesh, I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He just ups and disappears. There really is something fishy about him. Was he really just interested in research? Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look into things until I know for sure what Suido and Kamishiro are really all about. Huh? How am I gonna look into them? By sneaking into Kamishiro Enterprises, of course. <laughs> it should be easy, right? As long as you use your connection jump in my hacking expertise. Besides, we've got connections, don't we? I need to think of a plan. I'll be in touch. Nokia, centimeter, and Kowloon. If I'm late, she'll probably be mad again. I'll pick this up. Item. I got a thing. It was probably just another metal, because I don't think we really pick up anything decent off the ground. Whatever you do, give it your all. That's how I became a journalist, you see. A dream. I wonder. <laughs> when did my mom start thinking she wanted to be a journalist? Did you see the announcement from Kamishu's new CEO? That face may be sweet, but I can tell she's plenty savvy. More like plenty savage. Ah ha ha ha. Where the fuck are we? Asakusa. So we can actually go into the shopping district now that it's... Or not. We can't go there. Okie dokie. My money, my honey promised he'd take me folk dancing. Where is he? He's we've been waiting forever. I'd heard this strange phenomena were happening all over the city, but I'd never thought something would happen here. Let's just keep it away. Well, let's head back to Nakano. And then I will save. I'll save out here in case I get the urge to just go digivolve things later. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this here stream. And of course, we'll head to the main menu so we can listen to nice music. Once again, Digimon Cyber Sleuth is still quite a lot of fun. <laughs> Although I did take a bit of a gamble turning the bulk of my team into ultimates, level one at the start of a round, uh, a big boss fight. And uh, we got dotted for the first time. Well, I wonder if those are, like, new sprites, or if they're just using sprites from older games, which would be a nice easter egg in a kind of way. 
because it's highly unlikely that you're going to see the dot status effect that much. But yeah, very, very fun. Lots of fun. And uh, again, the translation just feels like it's disintegrating at points. Like calling the Eater a Bakemon, even though a Bakemon is the ghost Digimon? And he's just like, we have to defeat the Bakemon. Like, it's this thing that we've always done. Did he name the Eater Bakemon? I thought the ghost was Bakemon. I do not know. This translation is hurting my soul sometimes. And, yeah. It, the translation still just feels ever so slightly odd. Sometimes humorous, but mostly odd. Kind of cool that Nokia finally, like, uh, is kind of becoming a tamer herself. We'll probably see more of that next time when we go to begin the Rebels. Hee hee ha ha. What else? What else? And again, I really enjoy the side quests feeling like episodes from an anime. Where it's like, this feels like it could be a side plot of an anime. And then there's like the main episodes. So I don't know how it would be like structured, but still lots of fun. Lots of fun. It's nice to actually like get to the point. That's the one cool thing though. It is cool to have your like your favorite Digimon and then you level them up and it's finally time to Digivolve them. That is a cool thing. And that you get like multiple Digivolutions, and if you don't like one, you can de digivolve, or if you want to get a higher, more important one, you can like uh, de digivolve them for the ABI. Although I might throw some of my ABI contingent Digimon into the farm and use the Ray's ABI and CAM meat since we got some of those from Quest. But yes, but yes. Digimon Cyber Sleuth is tons of fun. Very nice. Very fun. And I can't wait to play more of it and see more of the world. Well, not really world, but more of like the story. The story is decently fun. It's still kind of like... It feels a little bit draggy because this was the third time that we entered a labyrinth with Arata. And, I don't know, it just feels like nothing really happened. The first dungeon was the train station, where we learn about labyrinths. The second labyrinth was basically more of the same. And not much at all was added. I guess it added more... Oh, Sudo is there and he's being creepy. Or maybe I forget important stuff. I don't know. I think that's where we learned more about the digital waves and digital shifts. But, yeah. Either way, digging the game, digging the fun. Kind of annoying that it seems that in, like bosses are like, I have lots of defense. <laughs> I'm a defensive boss. That just seems to be the go-to, but still. I'm really enjoying this, and once again, can't wait for Digimon Survive to come out later this month. Mm, but yes, but yes, I am Neon Icy Wings. If you want more from me, I have an archive channel on YouTube called Neon Icy Games, where all of these streams eventually end up. So, And if you're already there watching the various archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. If you want even more from me, like art, such as the little avatar in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you can see me post various arts occasionally to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds, all of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. And yeah, I'm just like, I need to draw more and post more and actually make finished things, but perfectionist brain gets in the way. Bleh. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye bye. <laughs>